Let me know, go to the next question very quickly so that we can that. respond to those. Before we go. Is it true that what they say that no one is really from Lagos? Is Lagos no one's true state of origin? This, I hope it. this is not booking from my own studio. I hope it's not for. I want to chew up for that. Some people see it like that. Well, is it true that no one is really from? No, no. The truth is, you know, by law, I think if you spend ten. Yes, or so. Yes, Uncle, what, what Uncle Sumi even has yeah, yes, yes, that. Law, yeah, Lagos yeah, was yeah, created as a federal but, territory. But then again, let's let's be very honest with ourselves. Everybody is sentimental about what he perceives to be his origins. Um, Ojuku, for example, is a Lagosian. Ben Bruce is a Lagosian. Ben Bruce, ideally, should be a senator from Lagos. And not, I don't, I didn't, I never knew that Bayelsa. Ben Bruce was from Bielsa or whatever. I grew up with him. Mm. I mean, so you that's what I'm saying. We used to run around the square as little kids. We used to run around, no, Ben Bruce didn't run around the square. He was always walking. He was, he was always walking in his dad's store. Ooh. His dad was a strong disciplinarian, and Ben Bruce and his brothers, I think from primary school and then from secondary they school, used to definitely. Do holiday job. Every spare time, the little spare time they had was walking at in Domino's. The, at Domino's, yes. Mm -hmm. And it was in Yaba store. And it was right opposite um, Sumi Smart calls them. Um, you guys, this is his barbing shop. His barbing shop. This Yaba was a very, like, like Yaba was for the elite Nigerian. Oh, yeah. I mean, if you, if you look at, um, I think the way Yaba was, was if you look at the structure in Yaba, all the streets are straight. Yeah. Yaba so has it. never been flooded. Yeah. It was built for the middle class, really. Most of the houses in Yaba were originally owned by civil servants, middle class civil yeah, servants. Yeah, I think so. The Oibos were living in Ikoyi. Yeah. Some Nigerians were, were living you know, in Obali in the area. Mm -hmm. But Yaba was designed for middle I class. Uh, middle class. And um, therefore, you know, we all, uh, we all had a good time so growing up. So at least Lagos City has original people. Settlers, oh, yes. Sierra Leone and origin, Brazilian like, returnees. Like every other place, yeah. like every other place. Um, and um, some people keep splitting hairs about the origins of Lagos. It's an emotional thing because nobody is, you know, in Lagos is an open place. You can buy land wherever you want. You can build your house wherever you want. If they're moneyless, don't worry. Sorry. If they're moneyless. Well, if they're moneyless, you'll, you'll discover are not even Lagosians. Oh, yes. The Omoniles, do you know that half the area boys in Lagos take the first Molue that's coming to Lagos? They don't even live there. Ask anybody, ask them their origins. You'll be amazed where they come from. The, 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 the Omonile and um, area boy thing, it, it would make a very good study. Most of them don't even live on the island. They can't trace their roots. They can't Maybe they roots. claim some of this land. They don't even, well, the Omonilas, yes, but the area boys in Lagos, they don't claim anywhere. I want to park in front of my grandfather's house. Let me tell you one story very quickly. I had to park in front of my grandfather's Your house. Your grandfather's house. My own grandfather's house. And then this area boy comes and says, ah, our lanibi. So I told him, ah, okay. After a long discussion, they got to know who I was. I said, eh, no, I'm buying you and not me. So I should still give him something. <laughs> He's looking after me, and, you know, I mean, so. You know, I mean, though, one thing I must clearly state is that yes. for, for the benefit of those who are not from Lagos, we do admit that Lagos is what it is, not only because of the indigenous. Of course not. Nowhere is the place it is just because of the indigenous, except for places where the society is closely knit. Mm -hmm. I mean, look at Kaduna, for example. Kaduna is another example. Port Harcourt is another example yes, where, where people can thrive. And, but in some other areas that are so closely knit that it's difficult to penetrate. Are we, are we, suffering, are we on that threat of these things being... You know, because Nigeria as it is, would you agree that Nigeria as it is now mm. is ideal? I don't think there's any country in the world that is ideal. We just have to keep on managing. Should we still uh, manage the, Nigeria the, the way it is? Well, we, we, we should have an open discussion. Uh, um, I, I believe that very strongly. But the representation has to be right. I'm not going to subscribe to any open discussion that dictates that whoever is in government at a particular time is going to handpick some people and say they are talking on our behalf. Uh, some of the socio-cultural groups that we have who claim that they're speaking uh, you know, on behalf of their people, it's turned out now that they were speaking on behalf of themselves. We have a fair idea of what their bank accounts have looked like <laughs> after certain, uh, so we, yes, we, could, we should have a discussion, but we should, it, sh it must be people represented. I think I have a couple more questions. I'm not sure. There were a couple more questions that were out there. Yes, there's one. Oh, this is an Igbo man. A man's state of origin I'm... in Nigeria should not be as important as his place of residence for equal opportunity. Well, I agree with that. Is that a statement or a question? It's a statement, really. Uh, should we take away the maybe, maybe state of origin? Me, uh -huh, yeah. If I think that a man's yeah. state of origin in Nigeria, even anywhere in the world, let's be honest with ourselves. No, but is that what is happening in Nigeria today? 
Well, in Lagos, yes, nobody's really going to ask you certain questions if you want to mm -hmm. get anything done. Uh, I don't think anybody's going to be asking you. Um, there was a bit of a hula balloon, remember, during the when, last elections, when they were sorry that they would go and jump into the lake. No, but, but that was because the Oba had a favored candidate, which really shouldn't have happened. Mm -hmm. And thank God we, we lived through that. Mm -hmm. um, also, there was, I remember so, one of the politicians came on my program and said that the, the Igbos were not being registered because of a candidate. Mm -hmm. And of course, I wouldn't have that. I insisted that he collect that statement. And I'm glad that. People Didn't showed... I raise some kind of issues? Because no, it feels people feel a bit uncertain. No, I'm glad that nobody fell for that. Most people didn't fall for it. Mm. There wasn't what you would call a real opera. Nobody fell for it. People, our politicians, I must say, haven't behaved responsibly in that regard. And they've taken people for granted. I thank God that people are matured enough to see through all these things. What problem would I have with you at this way? Because, we're not, it, it, I mean, hey. It shouldn't happen. It should, and it will never happen. One of the and slogans that Lagos is using right now yes. to push its 50 years in existence is Lagos, my success story. Some people have said, why are they using just those young entertainers? Most of the people that use are young entertainers. You know, it's no, like... No, the, 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 let's, let's be honest again. You know, if you want to do a story uh, of Lagos at 50, mm -hmm. if you want, it, it must have a Lagos flavor. Not just... And when we are talking Funky about... Funky and... No, not, not just that. When we are talking about... When we are talk, uh, look at the pictures, for example, on the bridge. I mean, the pictures don't have people like Taslim Elias. It doesn't have people, people like Ojuku. It doesn't have people like Nam Azikiwe, who was a Yaba boy. Mm -hmm. you know? Absolutely. Yes, yeah. Sao Juku was a, was a Yaba boy. Yes. You know, it doesn't have that real history. I mean, without, uh, without prejudice to some of the names that are there, I don't see some of them as being relevant to the theme of Lagos. So now, That's not to say that they are not successful. Mm -hmm. And Lagos has caused their success. Maybe, maybe not. I mean, I can, Two Face, for example, is not a Lagos musician. He's a national mu musician. He, he, he's but he resides all, here. All over. Well, he just happens to live here. But there's a limit to which you can say, you know, he is part of the history of Lagos. Living here is one thing. I'm saying he's, he's, he's a. Even Fela doesn't come within the story of history of Lagos. He should, shouldn't he? Well, maybe, maybe not. Um, Fela, Fela, if you look at the history of Lagos, okay? Mm -hmm. um, Fela might not necessarily fall within the history of Lagos. But Lagos gave him the opportunity. This is where entertainment grows. Lagos well, is Lagos that... gave him the, 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 the opportunity, I agree. Yes. But when you're talking about the history of Lagos, surely it must be... Um, Fela didn't grow up in Lagos. Mm. I don't know if you know that. Fela grew up in Abelkuta, and from Abelkuta he went to the UK. I hear a lot of Ijebus so and Lagosians it... now, anyway. No, 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 the Shomolu people are from Ijebu. Mm -hmm. You didn't know that? Oh, Shomolu people. The Shomolu, the, the Shomolu indigenes. They are from Ijebu. But they are Lagosians now. They are Lagosians. Anyway, so Lagos, I just wonder though, what are the lessons for the rest of Nigeria, for the success story of Lagos? That's what I want to take away from this. The major lesson is tolerance. And how tolerance, how tolerance can breed development. If you, did, if you did a census, for example, of the properties and businesses that are thriving in Lagos today, the indigents will be knocked out completely. But that's what you do when you allow tolerance. Look, at, again, I refer to another city that I, not too well, but fairly well, the, the city of London. It's open, there's an open opportunity, an open book, and the city is thriving, everybody's happy. So, uh, Uncle Sumi said something. Why don't you go back to the states where you have three regional centers that are actually federal capital territory. Lagos was what it is because it was recognized as a federal capital territory. And so people felt at home, opportunities were here. I don't know for how long um, Nigeria has had independence for 50 years, and I don't know for how long we'll keep searching for a system, that will, a political system that will work for us when we don't want to take the first charge. The first charge is you must have responsible people. At the people top. at the top. You must have responsible people. How do you people. get them One there? of the problems we have is whether you have parliamentary system or the, 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 the system that we have now. <laughs> the, unless you have practitioners who are ready to do right. We can then sit down and have a discussion to say, let's tinker with this here and tinker with that here. If people here. get the kind of governance that they require, are Nigerians illiterate on, on, or they are indifferent or they are just stupid? That we keep producing or we are all like the leaders that we have? No, I, I don't think Nigerians are stupid, but they're too laid back. They're too laid back and are they Are we take... still laid back? All this hunger is... No, we are laid back. Uh, maybe by the time we get a bit more hungry, then we'll all stand up to our responsibility. In the course of my job, for example, 
I have people saying that, okay, it's enough. Let's just leave them. Leave who? You can't afford to. These are the people who make decisions for you. So what's your final words, as I must round up now? On what now? Final words. Lagos is 50. Nigeria is in dire need of great leaders. What should our viewers be going away with from Jimmy Disu today? <laughs> Listen to me every day. <laughs> <laughs> On radio. <laughs> On radio. Anyway. Because, because and I, let, me, let me say that. I wasn't running the commercial, but it's because Nigeria is a moving decimal. It keeps, the scenario keeps changing. Yes. I mean, so if I say something today, by the time I walk out of this studio, it might not even be ready. I think take responsibility for the kind of leadership that you get. Yes. If you're not that's, there, that, don't come That's why I say that you should, you know, it's an unfolding thing. Thank you so much for it. Thank perfect. you. I just, we'll uh, do nice this again sometime. Definitely. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I don't know what your Lagos is, but my Lagos is one of opportunities. But still, whether you like it or not, I'm going to retire to my homeland and go and rest. Which is all over, Which is Benin City ah. or Delta State, as it were, where my husband is from. So, whichever. Thank you for watching. We'll see you again on this show. Bye.